Hey Derek, it's Stefan from More3D. Um, just making a quick screen recording to show you how to enable Morvis to work with your setup and the Composer software. So first of all, you need to download and install uh, Morvis from the uh, email. I'm providing the link there. So I'm, su I'm assuming that you already have installed Morvis and will lead you now through it. So first of all, you want to start the Morvis server control, which is in the start menu. In the server control, you will see the symbol right to your system time, where you can right click and select properties. And you need to enter this port at 8700 there. So tha that's basically all you want to do for the moment there. If you want later on, you can add more clients which are connected on the network or run on your local system. So once you've done that, simply hit OK and start the Morvis client, which is here. I'll uh, click, I'll, I'll make it in a window so we, we can have the things. Next, you want to right click again the uh, Morvis server control and select Morvis application enabler. You need to be administrator and then you want to click add application and this will let you add the application. So what, what you want to do is uh, navigate to your installation directory and simply double click the composer.exe and then you click the enable checkbox and click save and close. That's basically it. Now you can start the composer and open a model. There you go. If you have a quadro card with quad buffer enabled, it will automatically uh, be in stereo here. And um, ah yeah, what, what you want to do is here on the render tab inside the composer, you want to disable the ground. It gives uh, Morbis a better option for scaling, etc. And the stereo effect becomes way better. Um, yeah, that, that's currently a known bug. The, the highlighting somehow doesn't work correctly, but we'll, we'll also fix that in some uh, future version. So um, next to have a tracking with ZSpace, you want to launch the VRPN server for ZSpace. I'm c I currently don't have a ZSpace here, so uh, bear with me. Uh, I'll, dis um, I'll, I'll demonstrate the function of the software using a gamepad, which I got here. Um, wha what you want to do now is to launch the um, VRPN server, which I'm doing for the gamepad now. So I got a VR VRPN server running and now I want to launch the VRPN translator, which is this software. You then would uh, enter in the tracker configuration um, tracker zero at localhost or wha whatever your um, ZSpace VRPN server address is. Um, what I did, I have the X input address as it's an X input device running uh, on my uh, VRPN server. So last but not least, I want to click connect. And now I can use my gamepad to navigate through the scene. Of course, it's possible to uh, have two VRPN servers with a little configuration. Um, and use a tracking and a gamepad at the very same time for visualization. Yeah. There is uh, quite an interesting option inside the VRPN translator to look at. Um, you see now I've moved close to the model in uh, the Morvis window and it's starting to clip out. There's the eye settings button where you can tell the software when to start to clip out. You see now that I've set it to one millimeter, I can get really close to all objects. But it really depends on your personal preference, um, where, how close you want to see the objects to you. Um, yeah, as I mentioned in the email, there is the limitation that we only have the standard OpenGL support at the moment. 
again sometime in the future we will look at the software again and ma make the necessary changes to support the advanced but currently we are lacking the manpower to uh, fulfill this um, I, I guess uh, about three four months we will have uh, another development window where we can look at the software and then we should be able to do it the shaders of the application are complex given this is given but we our, our my my team assured me that we can make this work easily not not easily but we can make it work n but not in the current time frame we are having available yeah anyhow i hope i didn't forget anything and uh yeah that's basically it so feel free to contact me if you need any any help please do so bye